given these norms, how can a woman in a heterosexual marriage reclaim her identity? Enter Satan. Or perhaps for the purposes of this talk, the better phrasing would be, let Satan enter. In chapter two of Men, Women, and Chainsaws, Carol J. Clover posits that possession films from The Exorcist through its descendants in the late 80s obsess over the physical, read vaginal, openings in the bodies of women and girls so that they may present a corollary to the emotional opening of male characters. The Exorcist is not really about Reagan's bodily invasion, it is about Father Karras's catharsis. Though men invariably get to be three-dimensional human beings in these films in a way that women and girls do not, they are only allowed to do so because these films are so troubled by female bodies. Carol writes that occult films are, quote, remarkably interested in female insides, in the workings of menstruation and pregnancy, and whether and how those functions can be tampered with, and in how those functions and the female insides in general might feel, end quote. In nearly every possession film, then, it is a female body that is being possessed. Indeed, Clover writes earlier in the chapter, satanic possession is gendered feminine, even when the portal is a car. The roots of this are likely mundane and misogynistic. Because women are penetrated in traditional heterosexual sex, they are seen as weaker, more submissive, quite literally lying below men. It thus follows that the weaker of the two sexes would be most susceptible to penetration from other forces. Possession narratives cannot trust their women to resist satanic influence the same way that pastor, the same way that pastor Seth cannot trust the teenage girls of pure to resist sex. The culmination of such logic that women naturally invite unwanted penetration is, of course, rape culture. If it follows that possession is the horror equivalent of sexual penetration, then we can easily read the typical possession narrative in which a woman is unwittingly overcome by a malevolent force and someone, often her lover or husband, must fight to bring her back to herself as one of a man struggling to reclaim his wife after she has been raped. <laughs> 